Hi friends, this is my fourth video and today we will learn about necessary and sufficient condition of any linear operator to be triangular algebra. So let's begin. First we write the theorem. Let T from V to V a linear operator where dimension of V is N. Dimension of V is N then the theorem says that the necessary and sufficient condition of T B triangular level is that the characteristic polynomial of CTX splits over f where f is a field depending on the dimension vector space v so now we provide proof of this first necessary condition for this let linear operator t is triangle algebra then there exists a basis B with respect to linear operator T such that is a triangular matrix we take it as upper triangular Here it is a n by n matrix because dimension of B is n. If you take characteristic polynomial of this matrix then it will be determinant such that this way and it will be equal to clearly a characteristic polynomial splits over f that is it is a product of distinct factors and one well roots does not repeat here so necessary condition is proved now sufficient condition for this let ctx splits over f that is characteristic polynomial characteristic polynomial splits over field f then we have to prove that tb from b is triangular In this condition, we will be use the induction theorem. First condition, let dimension of B is equal to N. Then CTX will be equal to this way. As we know that the characteristic polynomial becomes zero if we put that matrix T in it. So if we put this way then the matrix T with respect to a basis B where I is a linear operator, identity linear operator. 
so matrix of t with respect to b is singleton set of matrix where this can be written 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 clearly this is a triangular matrix so if we take dimension of b is equal to 1 then it becomes a triangular matrix which is our sufficient condition so it is true for dimension v is equal to 1 now by induction theorem let us condition it is true for all dimension of b such that dimension of b is equal to less than n you assume it is true now we will prove the theorem is true for dimension of b is equal to n chuki ctx splits over f so there exist n eigen value say lambda with respect to factor x minus lambda in the characteristic polynomial city x and let x1 be the corresponding eigen value of t sorry it is eigen vector of t with respect to lambda this is a eigen value now let w represents the eigen space corresponding to the eigen value lambda then we can write w as alpha x1 such that alpha belongs to f and is it is one dimensional vector space now now we form or split the linear operator t into two linear operator such that t cap and t dash which are defined as follows t cap is from w to w where w represents eigen space corresponding to the vector space eigen value lambda and t dash is from the quotient space b by w to b by w now we explain why it are as before explaining t dash and t cap which are defined as this way let matrix of t dash with respect to basis b2 is equal to a and matrix of t cap with respect to 
or basis B1 becomes a matrix forming of lambda because T cap is from the eigenspace W W where W is a one dimensional vector space which is an eigenspace corresponding to the, corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda. So the matrix of T cap with respect to any basis V1 will be lambda. And dimension of W dimension W is equal to 1 because W is a one dimensional vector space and dimension of V is equal to N. So dimension of V by W is equal to dimension of V minus dimension of W that is N minus 1. Now clearly we can write the matrix of linear operator T from B to B with respect to basis B as lambda of any constant C0 and A where lambda is a where it, this matrix is formed by two block matrix lambda and A where lambda is a matrix of this way and A is a matrix of this way. So the dimension of T is n and dimension of this is single that is 1 and dimension of A from T dash T dash B by W which is n minus 1 so n minus 1 plus 1 which is n n minus 1 plus 1 is which is n and other side dimension of b is also n so this way we can write now if we take characteristic polynomial of the matrix t then will be lambda minus x c0 and a minus xi we write x with i as a is a matrix and in order to make x a matrix we have to multiply it with an identity matrix i and which is equal to this way now edge now edge T cap with respect to B1 which is equal to lambda matrix is a triangular matrix so in order to prove T as triangularizable we have only to prove this matrix A is triangular or not this is triangular and this has to be proved triangular where a is a matrix is, is found by the linear operator t dash which is from b by w to b by w so the dimension of the matrix A which is found by the linear operator T dash that is dimension of B by W is n minus 1 and by induction theorem it is said it is said before that n minus if the dimension of invector space is n minus 1 then the 
matrix of the linear operator can be oh, then then the characteristic polynomial is so also a matrix a is triangular triangular so this is triangular is this is triangular so this can be also triangular and that is that means it can be splitted over f so t of with respect to b is triangular if you like this video and please like and comment and also subscribe my channel thank you